Hi everyone, it's Lindy on from Pink Whisper Designs. Today I've got a brand new set to show you from Art Impressions. It's the Woodland Fairy Set. And there are several other items available in this collection and I'll talk about those a little bit more in the video. Let's take a closer look at this Woodland Fairy Set. And there's eight different fairies in this set and also some coordinating sentiments. And what I love about these is they're all facing different directions. Some are flying, some are sitting. So you can really build a cute scene with these. And they do inc include the coordinating dies as well. And let's go ahead and do our stamping. I've selected three of those fairies and I'm using some Strathmore Bristol Smooth cardstock and some Versafine Onyx Black ink. And for the coloring, I'll be using my Zig Clean Color Real Brush pens. And I'm starting off with beige and yellow. And those colors will be listed in the upper left hand corner as we're going along. And I do want to mention that there is currently a bundle set. This is a brand new set. There's the Fairy Garden Bundle and it's on sale. It's 20% off. So right now it's only $99. So I have the link down below for you. You can click on that. And that bundle set includes the brand new mini rectangle frame dies the scallop frame dies, this woodland fairy set, and then there's also an adorable woodland castle set. And it's got the most adorable little castles. It's got the sentiments that coordinate as well. There's the fairy tale houses, which is really cute. And I'll be doing a card on that coming up in the near future. So keep an eye out for that. I'm going to be using the little, I call it the old woman who lived in the shoe, but the, the little fairy tale shoe. And it's really cute. We're going to create a little garden scene. And then there's a new paper pack called the Fairy Garden Paper Pack. And there's also a little tiny glass bo bottle that you can put some fairy dust in and tie it to your card or your tags or your journal. Because again, these are designed to go with your journals. So I'll just continue coloring. I'm doing all the hair to begin with. And I wanted all their hair to be some different colors. So I've got kind of blonde brown. And then this, this brown has a little bit of a reddish tint to it. So I like using that for the hair. And then I'll switch to the flesh color and the light pink to do the skin and the cheeks. And going back to the two frame dies that are included with that bundle. One is the mini scallop frame and that one has a scallop border on it and the way these are designed is they make a little pocket almost where you can slide your photo in there or your artwork in there whatever you want to do and then both sets the rectangle frame die set and the uh, scallop frame die set both include a little easel that you can put on the back of it and they have different sizes of rectangles or ovals or even a circle that you can die cut out of the center and these sets can be mixed and matched together to create some cute little pockets for like I say for your photos or your uh, watercolors or any image that you want to put in there you could frame photographs whatever you want to do so they're really cute really fun and then again, that set includes a brand new paper pack, which is just so pretty. It's got some really cute little tiny patterns of butterflies, flowers, even some little mushrooms. And it's a nice combination of, I'd say, lavenders and teal blues and a few other colors mixed in, some pinks. So it's really a pretty little six by six double sided paper pack. So now I've got pale violet and light violet and I'm just doing some simple blending on these now you could certainly add some really cute patterns to these little dresses they're wearing you could add some stripes polka dots you could do some paper piecing whatever you want to do but I'm just going to keep these really simple and just have some simple pastel colors for their little outfits so we've got the pink and the lavender and that last one we'll be doing in kind of a teal color so it's light blue and turquoise green. And for the background that we're going to be creating, we're going to use 
the pause to love that's a mini trifold set of Im images but we're just going to use the little trees i'll show you we're going to mask off the area where there's a little puppy dog we're going to mask all of that off and we're just going to use those trees so that these little fairies look like they're sitting by the tree one will be kind of like sitting up on top and we'll create kind of a magical background to go with this now that we have all three fairies colored in let's go ahead and die cut those I'm going to set those aside and I'm grabbing that third largest square from the nested square dies. We'll be die cutting that from some Strathmore Bristol Smooth cardstock as well. And we're going to be using this set, as I mentioned earlier, that does include the dies to create this interactive card. It's a trifold card. You see that off to the right there. But we're just going to be using that set of trees today and this is from the pause to love and that mtf is mini trifold card what we want to do is mask off the bottom section of those trees i'm going to hide that because we're going to be placing a little fairy there i'm not sure if it would completely cover that so i'm going to just make sure i mask that off and that's just a little bowl and a couple little dog bones so I've got my post-it tape and I'm going to just put a little bit of post-it tape over that little section and then I'm just prepping the stamp a little bit with my finger just rubbing on the stamp just before I ink it up because I haven't used this before and I'm inking it up and then you want to make sure you remove that post-it tape before you do your stamping and I wasn't really fussy about masking it I just wanted to make sure that it did interfere with when we put our little fairy down there. I didn't want anything to show behind it. So you can see that up close. And you can see that we just didn't stamp those little extra pieces. So with yellow, may green, and green, I'll go ahead and color in all of my leaves. And I'll just do a little section here and then I'll color the rest of these off camera, but I basically did them all the same way. Starting with the lightest green, adding a little bit of that darker green. And then I did blend it out and then afterwards came in with a little bit of yellow just to brighten up and add a little highlight. Just adding a few little shadows there. And here's where I came in with the yellow. And you can see that really makes these pop a little bit more. You do want to clean it off because you will get some green on there. And just clean that off on your scrap paper. Now I've got beige and mid-brown, and I'll quickly color in the little trunks on the trees, just adding some shadows to these. And this is going to be a cute little setup for our fairies. We're going to have one kind of down at the bottom sleeping, one sitting there, and then I thought I'd put one up in the, in the tops of the trees there. We'll be making a large 5.5 by 5.5 inch square card. So you could certainly add more fairies to this. You have plenty of space for that. But I thought the three would be great. And do keep in mind when you're mailing a square card, it does cost a little bit more for postage. So you do want to keep that in mind. Usually when I make the square cards, I tend to just hand them to the person. But certainly you can mail them. You just want to add a little bit of postage to that, a little bit more postage to that. So here you can see I'm adding a few shadows. And I did this other side the exact same way. So now let's create the ground. I've got green and mid green, and I'm just kind of creating that line across the bottom. So I'm just adding some color, the lighter color, and then I'm going to add a few shadows at the base of each of these trees. And then I will add a little bit of that same color as a shadow down towards the bottom. So let's just fill that in just really randomly. And then I've got that darker color and this is where we'll do some blending. And again, I'm trying to keep the top of the grass fairly light there right at that line. And you can keep going back in and adding more shadows, whatever you want. You can bring that grassy line up a little higher if you need to. For the sky, I'll use aquamarine blue and haze blue. And I'll use that darker blue for the shadowing right along the tree. 
and then kind of go lighter with that haze blue towards the middle. And I'll just do this all the way around. I'll just use that blender pen to blend that out. This might be a good place though if you wanted to use some water. You could do some a little bit more of a looser blending with this. But I did stick with the blender pen. And now here's where I'm going to add a little bit of yellow to that grassy area. I thought it was a little bit too flat. So I added a little bit of yellow to bring that out and highlight it a bit better. I've got Broken China Distress Oxide Ink and a medium-sized blending brush. And I'm just going to blend that in. And that'll give the sky a little bit more depth. And I'll add a little bit in the center in between those two trees. That just smooths everything out just a little bit better. Now I've got the Rustic Wilderness. I'm going to do the same thing down along the bottom. And add a few more shadows down here at the bottom. You could certainly do this with your blender pens or your zig pens as well. I just thought the adding the distress oxide just kind of smoothed everything out a little bit. Now I've got my Doc PH Martin's Bleed Proof White Ink. This is a beautiful bright white. I'm adding it to my glass media mat, spritzing it with a little bit of water, and then I'll go ahead and spatter this. I'm using a small paintbrush to do that so that I get some little tiny spatters. This will just make it look a little bit more whimsical, a little bit more fairy tale looking. Now let's go back to those square dies and I'm going to grab that second largest one. Again, I'm going to die cut that from some Strathmore Bristol Smooth cardstock. Placing it on a little bit of an angle just because it's much easier to run through my die cutting machine if I do that. I've got some Nuvo Deluxe Adhesive. Let's go ahead and glue these two together. And then I'm going to the mini birthday paper pack. This is a cute little pack. It's got a lot of little birthday items in it, but it's also got some little petite backgrounds. And I selected these clouds, which I think are so cute. And I'm going to cut this down to five inches by five inches. Let's create the square card base. So this measures five and a half by 11 inches and we'll score it at five and a half inches. So it'll be a nice big square card. So again, that does give you a lot of real estate if you wanted to put some more fairies on here. So you have plenty of room. Now I've got that cloudy background. I'm going to add some glue to that. We'll just center that. And then let's add our images to the center. Again, I'm just centering everything. And now I'm just double checking that with my Miss T ruler, just making sure that's nice and straight. These are little T rulers. You get two in the set. And I use those a lot just to make sure I've lined everything up nice and straight. Now from Buttons Galore and more, I've got some sparklets. These are the pink flamingo sparklets. And you get some really pretty little designs in here. I'm going to grab some of these little clear gems and I'm going to place those all around and then for the trees there were some little pink uh, beads in there so I thought I'd put the little pink beads in the tree again just for some dimension and I'll give you a closer look at that look how cute those are now I did want to add a sentiment before I added my fairy so I've got my misty I'm going to pull out that foam pad because this card is kind of thick now and I want to stamp a sentiment right between those two trees. And I'm just trying to decide which one I like best. Actually, any of them would have worked. And I'm going to grab that one that says, hope your day is magical. I'll center that. And then we can go ahead and stamp that. I thought I needed a little piece of scrap paper behind this just to make sure it was up high enough. But with the foam pad, it was just too high. So you might have to add a little shim to do your stamping. You could always do your stamping before you assemble these pieces, but I really wasn't sure what I wanted to do at that point. So now I've got that stamped. 
Now let's go ahead and add the little fairies. And look how cute these are. These are just adorable. And that's kind of the layout that I was going for. That's what I had thought of in my mind, that this little one would be laying here at the base of the tree. So again, we already masked off that area, and I'm kind of glad we did because I think it might have shown behind her. So that's a quick and easy way to change up your images to accommodate what you want to do, what your vision is for your stamp set. This is a great way of mixing and matching your stamp sets as well. I'm using my Cricut weeding tool. I've placed some small foam squares on the back of this one to pop her up. And I'll do the same thing with this one. Now when I went to place this one down, one of those beads was a little bit in the way. So I will kind of pull one of those off, but it, it didn't matter because she's hiding what's underneath. So I will pop one of those off just so she can sit a little more comfortably in her little tree here. So you see here, I'm just grabbing that one bead and I'm just going to remove that. And then I took my Wink of Stella clear glitter pen to add some sparkle to the wings, and I did that for all three of these. Just makes them a little bit more whimsical looking, a little bit more like fairies. And then we're also going to be adding some spatter to the background of this. And I've got my Vicky Booten. These are the Cosmic Watercolors. And it does come with a little water brush as well. We're not going to be using that today, but these are the Cosmic Watercolors. And this set is called Hidden Gems. There's a second set called Rainbow, which you might want to look at as well. So I'll link both of these down below for you. And I just need to add a little bit of water. I'm using my Distress Sprayer to add a little bit of water there. And then I'm going to mask off the fairies. I don't want to get any of this spatter on them. And I did want spatter all over the card, including all the different layers. So that will bring everything together. And it's kind of a pearlized white. It has a beautiful shimmer to it. I'll be able to show you that up close once um, I finish the spattering. But you can see I really masked off these little fairies really well. And then I'm just using the post-it tape to do that and then we'll remove that. And you can see that sparkle. I'll show you that again at the end. And then I've got my white gel pen and I'm going to add a few little highlights here and there. Let's take a closer look at the finished card and see that beautiful spattering in the background with that cosmic watercolor and these little fairies, just so sweet. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you don't miss a single video. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you all have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.